more to you. Cicadas making a return to Middle Tennessee later this year. We're already seeing signs that they are preparing to emerge. News 2's Corey Johnson explains what you can expect as the bugs get ready to come back after more than a decade. It's almost that time again when the sounds of cicadas take over. According to local entomologists, it's predicted to be a noisy May as a group of periodical cicadas make a return. This is going to be like a huge, like a swarm, like it's going to be one million per acre. So it's going to be a huge emergence. Dr. Midhula Garish is an entomologist conducting work at UT Extension on periodical cicadas identified as brood 19. They're on a 13 year life cycle. Their last emergence was in 2011. So what are they doing right now and what conditions are needed to see them again? This periodical cicadas are the ones that spend like most of their time underground, like as immatures. So they, they are the ones that comes like every 13 years or every 17 years based on their species. When the temperature going to hit like 64 degree Fahrenheit, eight inches deep, yeah, the soil temperature. When it's hot enough, the black and orange insects create turrets or small holes in the ground, which when Smyrna resident potentially caught early sightings of on camera over the weekend. Our little tiny holes that weren't here yesterday, they go all the way down. When they come up, cicadas shed their exoskeleton skin to become adults. Then the cicadas mate. That's the loud sounds that you hear, which come from the males, the females laying the eggs in tree branches. A new batch of immatures is then created. They go back into the ground. This whole process taking about two months. But the good news is this particular brood is not very big and could end up helping your yard in the long run. When they make the turrets by themselves, though they are kind of naturally aerating the soil by making it like, you know, making those turrets by themselves. So it's, it's a kind of a natural aeration and uh, the exoskeleton could be a good fertilizer source because they are going to get decomposed. Corey Johnson, News 2.